Hi, welcome to Crimsafe Talking Tech. I'm David Stewart, Team Manager at Erebus Motorsport, and today we're going to be looking at the Erebus Motorsport Mercedes-Benz 5-litre V8 supercar engine. Okay, so here it is. This is our 5-litre uh, engine, and uh, a lot of you will be saying uh, take its clothes off. Unfortunately, we can't do that just at the moment. So what you're looking at is the top of the airbox of the engine. Uh, when the project kicked off, we, uh, we took the base of a 6.2 litre engine and we used the block and the cylinder heads from that engine. We had to redesign a crankshaft, some conrods, pistons, obviously camshafts as the 6.2 is a variable cam timed engine. When we started the project, as I said before, we'd use the base components from the 6.2. Our original airbox was considerably smaller and our air filter area was smaller. After the first couple of race meetings at uh, Adelaide Grand Prix and, and Simmons Plains, we, we discovered we had a deficiency in the size of the airbox, so we've increased that uh, to the airbox that you have today. We've also uh, developed the intake system extensively over the course of the, over the year. We started off with uh, fly-by-wire throttle and two butterflies at the, at, the, at the front of the engine as per, say, a, a, a GT SLS car. Uh, we've moved to eight butterflies and uh, a much bigger airbox. That's helped uh, our fuel consumption issues, some of the small drivability issues we've had, but uh, it, all in all it's, it's helped the drivability for the drivers as they're exiting the corner. So as with any project, we started off uh, with a base. We've refined that base to where we are today. We were quite happy with our engine performance at Sandown and we felt that uh, we were quite strong. Of course, in racing, you never have enough and, and good enough is never good enough. So we'll continue to refine, develop and our engine. Uh, and our next targets are to uh, reduce the fuel consumption further so that we can match the incumbents of the Ford and the Holden. But uh, all in all, we've come a long way. We're probably ahead of where we thought we'd be at this time of the year. Uh, but to, we'll continue to work on the, on the engine over the course of this year and into next year so that we can uh, hit Adelaide with uh, better fuel, con fuel economy and uh, hopefully some more performance. Buying security screens? Most CrimSafe lookalikes can pop out in just a few seconds, but the real CrimSafe doesn't thanks to its patented screw clamp. Cheap lookalikes can pop out because they're only held in with a piece of plastic. But Crimsafe screw clamp locks the mesh and spreads the impact. Crimsafe resists attack and corrosion and now has the ultimate warranty, 15 years. Ask for a demonstration today because if it's not Crimsafe, it's not Crimsafe.